YouTube, it's your girl Rosh54, aka Shelly Shell, the woman who never lose at the game of spades. If you need some training, want to win every game, tune into my channel for a little education. Now, I won't say your partner will be spectacular, but with me by his or her side, there is no losing this game. So, come along and let me teach you how to play the game of spades and be the champion you can be. When you bid, do not count jacks and queens unless the cards are spades. If your partner says zero, make sure you throw high. If you have one suit with only one card, try to hold out before you throw that card. If the other person says zero, start off with low numbers. Do not start off throwing high cards. You will get your books. If you and your partner find yourself losing and you want to say zero, don't say zero, go blind. If your partner says zero, you pretty much can tell when he or she runs out of one suit. If you throw an ace of hearts and she throws a two of hearts, she's out of hearts. Continue to throw hearts. Count your books. Make sure you bid higher than your opponent. Getting bags is not always bad. If both teams tie with 100, don't be afraid to get bags. The bags will break the tie. If you have two cards with one suit, count this as one book. If you have a lot of one suit, then remember someone has run out of that suit or just doesn't have that suit. Always pay close attention to your partner. If your partner says zero and the other team continues to throw high cards, make sure you get rid of those low cards. When the other team says zero, try to get rid of those high spades only when they lead with a different suit. Don't just randomly throw the ace of spades. The other team could have the king of spades when they throw a heart and you are all out of hearts. Then get rid of that ace or your high spades. If you see you and your partner can't win and you're the last bidder, look at the total of the bet. And if it adds up to between 9 and 13, go blind. Or even 8 to 13, go blind. Game started. Hopefully my P partner p is for partner have a good hand which he doesn't too let's see what the other team bids he said his last one this last one you're gonna lose this one buddy let's see one two three four i want to say you know what i'm gonna say four because i know if i say five he's gonna think about going zero he still might go zero, zero. Let's see if my paid partner has enough sense to throw low. Come on, doesn't take a rocket scientist. Okay, he threw a three, so I'm going to get rid of this queen. Queens hardly win. They'll win sometime, but a lot of times they don't. He's in the best place because I had a lot of high cards on the end here. And I have the ace, which I don't know if I want to throw. I'm going to throw the queen. And hopefully he doesn't throw the king because that means I just wasted my ace. Meaning that they normally when you, um, ah, normally when you don't throw your cards like you're supposed to, the other team are coming in on you with a spade. Like I think I should you should throw an ace first. That way you can get all your your cards. But by him doing zero, I didn't go ace first. I went for the queen first. But I'm gonna stay low with the with the clubs. 
Oh, he doesn't have clubs. I knew he had that diamond. It's a diamond. Okay. I want to throw out my ace. Come on, come on, come on, partners. Yes. Like I said. Like I said. I knew they were going to lose. Okay. I want to grab that up. And I'm going to throw this club out. See if my partner can get it. So he can get his two that he needs. I hate when they do that. That's uncalled for. You know, you can't win them all. Probably won every game it was. Now he's sitting up here mad because he lost one game. So he throws a donkey out. You guys still have time to win? <laughs> Which I doubt if they win. Good job, P. Now we're 62 to minus 68. No sweat here. Not unless they go blind. We gon' go. We gon' gone. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> we gon' gone. Okay, he said five. Let me see. One, two. I'm gonna say three. So P, are you really? Oh, there we go with the blind. <sighs> okay, we'll see. And he says zero. See, blind is still beat. We still have to keep this low. And I'm I'm gonna pay attention to my partner. So I'm gonna get rid of this queen, but I still have the ten. So come on now, let's play then. So he has the seven. That's the highest card he had in a diamond. So, what I'm going to do is throw that 10 for him. Then 6. I don't want to throw that 4. I'm going to keep this at a queen. Let's see what he has in the queen. I mean, a heart. Okay, the highest card. Well, he still can have that ace. So, I don't want to trust that. I'm going to go back to the uh, 10 and see what he throws out. And see what this part, this blue team throws out. Okay, blue team doesn't have any more diamonds, so I'm going to move away from there. And I'm going to go for the ace of clubs. Okay. That was his highest. And he... Okay, I'm going to go for the nine. Notice... What I was saying, I was telling you earlier, you can pay attention to what your partner has. If I throw an ace and they throw a king, that means that's their highest card. An ace of hearts and he throw a king of heart, meaning that was his highest card. The computer just played for me. Thank God my partner didn't have something higher than a four. He trying to load me up with stuff. I'm not going to play that king of heart because I don't, I think my... Unless, guys, you've seen them throw an ace of heart. Or did I throw an ace of heart? It's so hard keeping up with this game. I'm going to get rid of my king. And she had the queen. Thank you for what? This dude left the game. Something's about to go down. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You see what I mean? You got to get rid of those high cards, those high spades. That's exactly what I was talking about. See what I mean? <laughs> Tell me next time, folks, for more tips on how to be a spades champion.